Do you also want sounds like this in your config? then follow this tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to add game sounds or custom sounds into your Counter-Strike config to make your game way more miserable to play. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Everything you need for this video will be down in the description below. But if you have any questions related to this video, please let me know in the comments below. The first part will be comprised of game sounds and the second part will also teach you how to implement your own custom sounds into your config. Let's start. First things first. Steam, Counter-Strike, right click, browse local file, game, CSGO, config, make new config, right click, new, text document. Optimally, you would want this to be your auto execute, but I already have an auto execute. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to name it tutorial and then change the file extension from TXT to config. Uh, right click, edit with notepad plus plus. Download Notepad++ before that, or don't. Anything that writes text. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Cosmo, I don't even know where the fuck the sounds are. What are you doing? I have the answer to you. This GitHub repo has all the sounds that you want. If you want to play them, go to your game, copy a random sound like this, go back to your game, play, copy the sound, and you could hear the sound. Do that a bunch of times to find the sound that you want to add into your game. For example, I want to add a cat sound. Ctrl F to find cat, copy cat. Now we have the cat. We already know that the play command is play, and now we want to bind it to something. Thing. When you shoot, for example, you want this to be an alias because, well, you wouldn't really want to type play sounds, yada, 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 every single time you want to refer to this. So let's just say cat one, just to know that we're playing cat zero one, not cat, whatever. Right. We've settled on that. We want mouse one. That's the key that we want to bind into. And mouse one has the plus attack action. So we want to do that and also play cat. It's simple as that. No. Well, not so fast. If you know anything about vines, you would know that what I just did is wrong and it would play the sound twice because if an action has a plus and a minus, when you press mouse one, this sends. And then when you let go of mouse one, it does this. Okay, Cosma, what are you implying? I'm implying that if you do just this, it will play the sound twice. We do not want that at all. What do we want to do is make another alias, but to differentiate between the regular attack and the attack that we're going to use, let's just do attack with another K because we can't do attack too because that's the, well, that's obviously the second attack. So let's just do attack with two Ks and plus attack is going to be plus attack cat one. And then since when we release our mouse one button, we want minus attack to launch. So we do minus attack without the cat. So as you can see, it only plays once. There's no cat here. So we want to replace mouse one with plus attack with two k's the one that we just made now let's see if this works let's just execute our tutorial config if the sound is too loud doing sound underscore tool volume is very good because well that is so loud okay yeah did you notice that it only plays once when i press the button i'm holding it right now and I'm, i let go hold release hold release hold release so that would be plus minus plus minus and that's it that's all you have to do just make sure there is a plus and minus alias to things that have a hold and release for example drop that's just a singular action that does not have plus and minus actions so you would only need to make one alias for it. Hello, uh, Cosma from the future here. When I'm done, I'm basically done with the tutorial. I forgot to tell you that, that if you, for example, mess with the attack buttons, you will not be able to change players in spectator mode. So to fix that, you would need to add spec underscore next to mouse one and attack two. So this is the secondary attack. You would want spec underscore prep. Uh, another disclaimer is that if you mess with the crouch key, the overview map will no longer work, which means that I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the crouch key right now if you cannot hear. But don't worry, there is an alternative. You can press Q. If you really like drawing, make sure at least either your control key is fine or your Q key is fine. So you can actually still be able to draw on the map okay that's all i wanted to say uh bye okay cosma i know how to add these now i want to add my own sounds to make my game even more unbearable i'll show you how game settings game settings again install counter-strike workshop tools make sure that there that is yes quit the game download the workshop play counter-strike 2 workshop tools and as you can see we have the workshop tools menu uh create new add-on you can see i already have one but so let me just name this sound compiling tutorial because the way that this works is the game takes the original file and compiles it into something that the game can use. 
As you can see, the extensions aren't something that you would see in an actual file. Well, that is something that the game has compiled into something that it can use. We want to launch tools now. We can see the files within our add-on. And as you can see, we have sounds. And under the sounds, we have We have sounds. Whoa. What we want to do is right click whichever sound and find file sound name dot wave. And we want to open a folder to that. And now it should open a folder with the sounds. And please note the file directory. This is content CSGO add ons. If we go back into the workshop tools and right click whatever file, but go for the VSND underscore C and open folder, it will give us game CSGO add ons. Note the difference, game CSGO add-ons, compiled files, content CSGO add-ons, raw files. But now that you have both of these open, I already have a sound ready, uh, but the way that you would make a wave sound, because who the fuck has wave sounds anymore? Everything is an MP3, either use Audacity, drag and drop the file and have it export, export as wave, and then export it to either the folder here or just to whichever location you want to or you can just use an online converter such as i don't know cloud convert or something like that but now that you have your wave file drop it into this folder and go back into your workshop and as you can see there's a bra.bsnd file which means that it's been compiled and it's in this folder now well now we want to copy it go back to game csgo and sounds this folder will not exist for you so make sure to make it and as you can see i already have the all the sounds and whatever and now instead of cat one playing cat one we can just have make sure that the directory is correct obviously sounds and then bra.bsnd you do not need to add the underscore c part just bsnd is fine and now if we execute the tutorial file if you hear it correctly that is the sound that we put into the config file this is it this is it right here so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you will never see another tutorial from me ever again because uh i have nothing that's it bye